historical information here on Staten Island with you of what's happening and what can we anticipate to show us that we are not going to crash. Okay, so six, uh, 12 months ago, around the same time, we had a total of 1,511 active listings. And right now we have 1,558. So a little bit more inventory, not significantly more, but yes, that is. And then the, the months of housing supply, we had 3.14 about a year ago, then 3.06 months about four to six months ago. And then right now, currently as of today, June 9th, we have a total housing supply here on Staten Island at 4.11 months. This is still extremely low. And then we could see that the prices have gone up. So a year ago, a median sale price here on Staten Island was around 629. And then about four to six months ago, we were at median sale price of 638.888. And then currently for the last three months, we are at the median sale price here on Staten Island of 650,000. So it's, it's interesting to see also how days on the market, how quickly things are selling as well. So a year ago, average time to sell was 41 days. About four to six months ago, the average time to sell was about 46 days. And for the last three months, the average time to sell is 37 days. So the prices are still looking like they've been up and the days on the market have been shrinking. And here's another interesting part. The median comparable list price was a year ago at 675. And then four to six months ago, it was at four to six months ago, it was at 689. And then just in the recent three months, it went up to 702,500, 702,500. If we look at the median sale price as percentage of list price, in other words, it means list, the sold price versus the list price, whether it's six months ago, a year ago, or recently three months ago, they're all at 99%. Interesting thing for me, is that when I sell in New Jersey, the percentage of sold price to list price is over 100% versus here on Staten Island. So as I mentioned to you earlier, that we on Staten Island, if we do see over asking prices, they're not that many of them and they're not as high as in New Jersey.